So the best thing to do is stand in up here in front of the boom, in here close to the blades. If you have to be up here, if you don't, probably be best to be back over by the ship or the truck. And um, just so nobody goes back by the tail. Area. I just prefer everybody stay. If you have to work around the booms when we do do, do the calibration, is just stay up. You know, just don't go like behind the spray, behind the skids or the spray tank. Just stay up this way. That's the biggest thing. And I'll keep the cyclic center so the rotor's flat. It has quite a bit of quite a bit of rotor bearings, but it's good to be in the habit when you walk in and out from a rotor. Just you know, bend over. It's a good habit to get into. Even, even though the ship's real tall. That's about it. Yeah. Put the screens like this. We'll need to cut a corner out of the bag or tear a corner out and take a bucket and catch all the liquid to come out. And you're going to time it, right, John? Yeah, 15 seconds. Okay, it's going to run for 15 seconds that way, and then what you're going to need to do is take your bag and go out the side, and we're going to be measuring what comes out of each bucket individually to check the flow rate for each nozzle. All right, it may blow all the feet. Anybody got any questions?